We're good now. I Sorry, thank Chad. The First Lady, my entire family, and Vice President Pence, Mrs. Pence, for being with us all through this. And we were getting ready for a big celebration. We, we were winning everything, and all of a sudden, it was just called off. The results tonight have been phenomenal, and we are getting ready. I mean, literally, we were just all set to get outside and just celebrate something that was so beautiful, so good, uh, such a vote, such a success. The citizens of this country have come out in record numbers. This is a record. There's never been anything like it to support our incredible movement. We won states that we weren't expected to win. Florida, we didn't win it. We won it by a lot. And we won the great state of Ohio. We won Texas. We won Texas. We won Texas by 700,000 votes, and they don't even include it in the tabulations. It's also clear that we have won Georgia. We, we're up by 2.5 percent to 117,000 votes with only 7 percent left. Clear. They're never going to catch us. They can't catch us. Likewise, we've clearly won North Carolina. Where we're up no, 1. he hasn't. Or 77,000 votes with only See, this is the problem. Twitter can silence them, but networks us. won't. We also, uh, if you look and you see uh, Arizona, we have yes. a lot of life in that. And somebody said, somebody declared. He doesn't want to say who. He doesn't want to say Fox. Maybe it will be. I mean, that's possible. But certainly there were a lot of votes out there that we could get because we're now just coming into what they call Trump territory. I don't know what you call it, but these were friendly Trump voters. And that could be overturned. The gentleman that called it, I watched tonight. He said, well, we think it's fairly unlikely that he could catch. Well, fairly unlikely. <laughs> and we don't even need it. We don't need that. That was just a state that if we would have gotten it, it would have been nice, Arizona. But there's a possibility, He's maybe so even a good possibility. He's In fact, so <laughs> since I saw that originally, it's been changed and the numbers have substantially come down just in a small amount of votes. So we want that obviously to stay in play. But most importantly, we're winning Pennsylvania by a tremendous amount of votes. Again, millions of mail-in yeah. ballots have not been counted yet. Completely insane for him to just claim this is now if Pennsylvania turns people are going to turn around and be like what the fuck that's cheating that's a lie he's oh my god overkill on the flags by the way Jesus Christ we're up 600 think of this think of this think of this we're up 690,000 votes in Pennsylvania 690,000 these aren't even close it's not like oh it's close with 64% of the vote in, it's going to be almost impossible to catch. And we're coming into good Pennsylvania areas where they happen to like your president. I mean, it's like, uh, so we'll probably expand that. Uh, we're winning Michigan, but I'll tell you, I looked at the numbers. I said, whoa. I looked, I said, wow, that's a lot by almost 300,000 votes, and 65% of the vote is in. And we're winning Wisconsin, and I said, we're winning. We don't need all of them. We need, because when you add Texas in, which wasn't added, I spoke with the really wonderful governor of Texas just a little while ago, and Greg Abbott, he said, uh, congratulations. He called me to congratulate me on winning Texas. I mean, we won Texas. I don't think they finished quite the tabulation, but there's no way. And uh, it was almost complete, but he congratulated me. Then he said, by the way, what's going on? I've never seen anything like this. Can I tell you what? Nobody has. So we won by 107,000 votes with 81% of the vote. That's Michigan. So when you take those three states in particular, 
And you take all of the others. I mean, we have, we have so many. We had such a big night. You just take a look at all of these states that we've won tonight. And then you take a look at the kind of margins that we've won them by. Like what, Texas and Georgia? And you're sudden, flexing Texas like and like Georgia, really? Votes and we have 60% left. We won states and all of a sudden, I said, what happened to the election? It's off. And we have all these announcers oh, saying- Oh, this is so bad. What happened? And then they said, oh. This is definitely because dangerous. you know what happened? They knew they couldn't win. So they said, let's go to court. And did I predict this, Newt? Did I say this? I've been saying this from the day I heard they were going to send out tens of millions of ballots. I said exactly because either they were going to win or if they didn't win, they'll take us to court. So Florida was a tremendous victory. This is 377,000. <laughs> Texas, as we said. Ohio. Think of this. Ohio, a tremendous state, a big state. I love Ohio. We won by 8.1%, 461. Think of it. Almost 500,000 votes. North Carolina, big victory with North Carolina. And so we won there. We lead by 76,000 votes with almost nothing left. This is disastrous. This coverage all is of a so sudden, dangerous. Everything just stopped. This is a fraud on the American public. This is an embarrassment to our country. We were getting ready giving to victory. win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. We did win this election. So our goal now is to ensure the integrity Holy for the good of this shit, nation. Dude. This is a very big moment. This is a major fraud in our nation. We want the law to be used in a proper manner. So we'll be going to the U.S. Supreme Court. We want all voting to stop. We don't want them to find any ballots what? at 4 o'clock in the morning and add them to the list. Okay? What? Oh, he's it's, doing it's it. It's a very sad... The mad lad. It's a very sad moment. To me, this is a very sad moment. And... He's doing it. We will win this. And we, as far as I'm concerned, we already have won it. So I just want to thank you. And I want to thank all of our support. I want to thank all of the people Holy that worked with shit, us. Dude. And uh, Mr. Vice President, say a few words, please. Please. Oh. No, he, he said we want to stop the votes. He means like we want to stop the count. That's what he's talking about. He doesn't mean stop Let's the vote. He means now. stop Some the of count. What we saw from the president right there as Vice President Pence starts to talk. Uh, it is true that President Trump has won the states of Ohio and Texas and Florida according to our projections. But it's a matter of fact right now that at this hour, at least, Joe Biden has 221 electoral votes to the 213 electoral votes of Donald Trump. And in the popular vote right now, Joe Biden is also leading the popular vote. This is terrible. This is um, exactly how you don't cover this. This is this is just fascism happening in front of our so eyes. What we're seeing right there Very is cool. Donald he Trump is, is losing right now the way he in tries both the popular to vote and the electoral like, vote. Like he couldn't even break it. Oh, 